we hear from players all the time that you know they have coaches that don't like them or they don't like the coach. What do you do about that? And, you know, you talked a little bit about you had a coach that said you weren't going to be ever able to progress or go forward. What do you do when you have a coach that you don't like or doesn't play you? That happens quite a bit. I, mean, I always thought that all my coaches didn't like me at one point. But it was funny because maybe some of them didn't, but there were, there were some coaches that I ran a few years later, and I said, you know what, you were so tough on me all the time. What was the deal? And, and they said, you know what, I was your biggest fan. I, I thought you were such a great player, but I always thought that you were leaving something on the table. You were, there was something more that you could give. So I, I was trying to find ways to motivate you, and maybe I came across as, as, as somebody that didn't like you, but it was quite the contrary. But one thing as a player, you know, the only thing you can focus, the only thing that you can control is how hard you work and, and just the duties that you can perform. And keeping your confidence up, making sure you, you work hard in every single situation is the only thing that you can control. You're always going to have somebody that's going to say, ah, he's not that good, he can't, he's not good enough skater, he's not, he's not big enough. There are always critics. Wayne Gretzky's got a million critics. Right. He's the best player I've ever played. Sidney Crosby's going through all kinds of stuff. He's got to be the best player in the game today, and he's got so many people that want to be a critic. You're always going to have a critic. You're always going to have a lot of critics. And sometimes they're going to be on you know, on your team or your, or your coach. And the only thing that you can control is blocking out any type of negativity and focusing on your work ethic and just pushing forward. So, I mean, uh, I, I did play for some coaches over the years that... that didn't, didn't think that I could do it or, or there was, you know, there were coaches like that. But all I knew was that there's always another team maybe that I'm, another level that I'm pushing to get to and there's always somebody watching so I'll just make sure I always work hard and control what I can control. I can't change people's minds but I can, I can work hard and maybe try to change it in that sense. Go to sportsmentaltoughness.com to get your free video training and guided visualization mp3 on how to perform under pressure. I'm Craig Sigal, the Mental Toughness Trainer.